Omar says, is it permissible to eat food which some Muslims distribute on their innovative uh, events such as Mawlid, Muharram, Quran, uh, Khawni or Khwani, uh, and Abd al-Qadir al-Jilani uh, birthday or uh, 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 anniversary or demise day or whatever, etc. The answer is as follows. The events themselves are prohibited. Mawlid of the Prophet والسلام, is a clear innovation that was originated in Egypt on the fourth year of Hijrah by the Ubaidiyin al Fatimiyin, who were a deviant sect wanting to celebrate the death of the Prophet والسلام, rather than his birthday. The Muharram is celebrated by the Shia for the death of Al Hussein, may Allah be pleased with him. Abdul Qadir al Jilani definitely is not a, a, an, an occasion to celebrate, whether his birthday or his death. And it's only done by the super Sufis. Now, coming back, celebrating is haram. What about the food? If you're not with them, if you're not sitting and celebrating with them, and you get the food from them, they send it to your home. So I'm in my home, they knock the door, they give me a plate of biryani. If it is vegetarian food, no problem, consume it, it's halal. You're not celebrating and it's a gift to you, Khalas, no problem. What about if it has meat in it? Well, if it was slaughtered to other than Allah Azza wa Jal, <coughs> then the meat is haram, it's dead. But 99% of these things are halal. They're slaughtered at halal. Those who celebrate Mawlid, they're not all mushrik. They believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, but they have innovation. They have bid'ah. But if I know that they believe that the Prophet ﷺ is hadir nadir, that he's controlling the universe, though he's dead, and they believe that he's not dead, and he's controlling the universe, and he looks and is present in every household and everywhere, and he can hear us call him, and he can bring us benefit and prevent harm from coming our way, and he knows the unseen, Whoever believes in this is out of the fold of Islam, even if he had a longer beard than mine. He has no relation to Islam because he committed the cardinal sin, the most major sin in Islam, which is shirk. To believe as such in the Prophet and that he is created from Allah's light, subhanAllah. How is this? All of this is nonsense. You cannot accept the slaughtering of such people. But if they are normal people with innovations and they are on the aqidah, on the tawheed, your acceptance is uh, permissible. You can eat from that. Likewise, if people send you a piece of their cake they had uh, uh, used to celebrate their birthdays, their anniversaries, no problem in eating it as long as the ingredients are halal, inshallah. 